Hello again, this is a slightly different format this month for the the readings for June. I'm looking at a, a chart now, an astrological chart using the, the tropical house system which is the western system uh, for the 1st of June 12 midnight uh, based at London GMT. I'm based in the UK so that's the, the chart that's most relevant to me and uh, I'm just going to interpret this as best I can for the whole month and, and cover every sign as best I can. So we'll start with the uh, the ascendant and descendant which is the horizontal axis and it's Aquarius rising and Leo setting. I don't know whether you can see that, that's Aquarius there and Leo is opposite and it's setting so we've got a sign ruled by Saturn rising and a sign ruled by the Sun setting. That makes everything very structured, very rule based, very restrictive in a way. So June is going to be a month for everybody that's about looking at where your boundaries are, where you, where you draw boundaries uh, with money, with people, with relationships. It's about setting boundaries uh, living within your means is very much what's indicated by this chart so know where your limits are and then choose to live within those limits for the moment at least to get your cash flow even and to to then later on in the year turn things positive when the opportunity arises but for the moment just know what your limits are and make a conscious decision to live within those limits so that you're not getting into debt and you're not getting any further into debt than you already are and as the, as the months go on for the rest of the year there'll be opportunities where you can turn around your cash flow situation uh, but for the moment it's just having an awareness is the most important thing and this chart indicates uh, the setting of the Sun and the rising of Saturn for the month in June and the other things that are going on in here uh, we've got the planet Saturn in Libra in the ninth house so on the cusp of the eighth and the ninth house so the eighth house is about other people's money it's about business relationships it's about having an awareness of what's going on under the surface and the ninth house is about spirituality it's about higher learning it's about higher understandings of things so Saturn's on the cusp there which indicates that uh, this is a month for for learning higher lessons so it's showing it the lessons are showing themselves in your cash flow but they're actually spiritual lessons so look at your your financial situation and see what you can learn about managing your value what's your value system what is it underlying your, your financial situation that's showing your value system and how matched is that to the society that you're living in uh, when it's matched and when everything is aligned then your your financial system will be positive your financial energy will be, be flowing freely within within the society that you're in. Uh, if it's not quite matched then there'll be restrictions on your cash flow. So in business terms this means that you need to look at the market because the market is your local economy that's your local social group or it might be a global social group if you're working on the internet. Now then what else have we got here? We've got the Sun in Gemini it moving into the fifth house. Fifth house is about um, it's about gambling but it's also about children, it's about being playful. So we're moving into a time where you can start to enjoy yourself but within your limits. So it's very much about living within limits this this chart now, that's it for me for now if you've enjoyed the reading it's a new format I know but uh, 
I'll get used to it and you'll get used to it as we go on month by month. Uh, I'm only doing one reading for everybody with this particular format but if you've enjoyed the reading and you like a private reading for yourself based on an astrological chart then I can do those for $25. I do the readings at the weekends and you can pay via PayPal. If you send me a message or leave me a comment underneath this video then I'll set that up for you. Now you can leave me a comment if you've enjoyed the video, leave me feedback on the new format and uh, we'll take it from there. But thanks for your time and thank you for watching. I'll see you next month.